winter months and open up next year with a strong campaign against the enemy. Now, in promising all these uh, tanks and uh, the aircraft, uh, we really pledged to your credit. Uh, it was uh, your promise that we carried to Stalin. Uh, for you encouraged us to believe uh, that uh, if we committed ourselves, and committed ourselves in a big way, that uh, you would see us through. Uh, so therefore, the responsibility is on your shoulders. Already we're sending a great many tanks and uh, a vast number of airplanes. Uh, these are being shipped uh, continuously. Uh, and uh, of course, the uh, shipping space and uh, the convoys, uh, these, uh, the uh, uh, ships that are required, the war warships that are required to protect them, uh, are making quite a strain upon traffic in other directions. Uh, but remember something more too. You have got to provide the tanks that are required for our own army in Great Britain. Uh, it's true that we are armed to some extent, but we want a great many more tanks. Uh, we want altogether 30,000 tanks, and uh, that's the task and duty that uh, falls to you. Not only do we want the tanks, but uh, remember the airplanes. Uh, for, of course, in tanks and airplanes working together, uh, the future of uh, the battlefront re rests. If we have a proper coordination of uh, tank and aircraft in uh, defense and in attack, then the day of battle will go in our favor. <laughs>